Good day, folks. How are y'all doing? We're doing pretty good here on the McGee Plantation. We are getting ready to build us a trot line. We've got several trot lines, but we're going to build one to go across the slough that is not going to be extremely long to build. And I thought that I would go ahead and show you how to do it. These boys want to show you how to do it. We're going to build a trot line. You might want to know how to build a trot line. If you want to catch a lot of fish, we are going to show you how to build a trot line. And we're going to show you how to tie them on and put them across the river or the stream or the lake, slough, draw, cove, whatever you want to call them. We're going to do that right now. So let's get started. First of all, you got to know what you got to have. Your main leader line is gonna be a good dark colored, don't use white or bright color, nylon twine, a good strong nylon twine. And coming off of that, you're gonna have your lateral lines. And I always use 50 pound monofilament. Uh, if you use the same color and the same line for your lateral lines when you're when you're taking it off of your styrofoam piece or whatever you have it wound around it gets very confusing you can't tell which line is what no oh man and when you're out there and the wind's blowing and you're in a hectic situation that ain't the time and a boat's coming or whatever that ain't the time to be confused about what line is which okay you want nice big bull swivels you're gonna need some good size hooks with a nice eye on them. And you're gonna need a few weights, not a whole lot, just enough to keep it down out of the motors of the other boats that are coming through. You don't want to be causing people a lot of trouble. So if uh, for some reason these four ounce weights aren't enough, I've got eight ounce weight here that uh, will fit the bill. So, Let's make this thing. Enough talk. We take our nylon twine. We're just going to open it on up. And we're going to find the end. And we're going to pull it out. I usually use black. I've always used black. But today they didn't have black at the store. And I thought well, this dark green really looked good. It'll, it'll, it'll work good. Come over here. What you're going to do is you're going to tie... Tie your string to a tree, to a fence post, to anything. Just tie something temporary that you can take loose easy. And you're gonna go about as far as you think you want to, uh, as long as you want your trot line, that's how far you're gonna be unrolling this. We need this one to be about a hundred feet, roughly a hundred feet long. So we're going to back off. And if you want it a hundred feet long, you need to make it about 115 feet. And uh, because you got to wrap around something when you get to the lake. I'm going to just tie off right here. Leave your line loose because when you put your swivels on, you're gonna be taking up a lot of slack and it's gonna get tight and you're gonna have to come and loosen it anyway. All right, let's go. All right, first thing you're gonna do is put your bull swivels on your line and you wanna put your bull swivel on like this. You're gonna make a loop. Put your bull swivel over that loop. Put the loop through the bull swivel. All you gotta do is open that back up, pull your bull swivel through it, and pull it. That's it, you're done. Isn't that easy? Fish cannot pull that from one side to the other. That's done for, and that is so easy to do. Next, you're gonna put your leader line. This is 50 pound monofilament. Put it through your the other end of your bull swivel 
and pull it down about uh, six or eight inches. Start twisting. Twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now take the loose end and put it right back up through there. Grab it with your finger and then just start tightening. And what you're going to see, it's going to go all the way up, just like that. Now look at that knot. You're going to make the same knot on your hook. Take your 50-pound mono, go through there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come through the back side of your mono. and just gently tug it down. Now put your thumb in the hook right here so you don't get hooked when you really have to pull hard and it'll cinch right up like that. Now what you're gonna do is remove the tag to, so that it looks like this. Now when you put your bait on the hook, it's not gonna have a long 50 pound uh, tag right out there in the way. So that's it right there. All right, you're gonna put your next swivel on, but how far apart do you space them? You've got to space them so that your fish aren't getting tangled up together. I think that there's a, by law in Tennessee, you can't have it like two feet or closer together. So what I always do, I'm not gonna take a tape measure and measure every one of them. I spread my arms out like this and put it on. Now I've got a wingspan of at least five and a half to six feet long. There ain't no way. <laughs> yeah. Get a tape measure. Boys don't believe my wingspan is five and a half to six foot. Come on boys, let's measure. Hold this on that side. Now I got this side. I'm gonna put my finger right there. And I'm gonna hold my hand out here. What do you got? What do you got? Six foot and four inches. Six foot and four inches? And you didn't think my wingspan would be five and a half or six foot? Now, boy, you're talking to a man with a wingspan. I've got them long, lanky arms that drag the ground, man. I tell you what now. So when you do this, you've got to just do your six foot and four inch across here. Make another loop. Stick another swivel on it. Now, if you're using really sli slick nylon and that, and that swivel wants to still pull back and forth, what you can do is do it twice through. Pull this thing through there two times and then sink it down. Then you're guaranteed it's not going anywhere. And, and the reason why you have to have this swivel and not just tie on some way is because when a catfish gets on your line, channel catfish, they spin and spin and spin, and they'll spin all night long in the same direction and roll and roll and roll, and your line will get tighter and tighter and tighter until they've got it so tight that they can twist off, and they'll get away. And even with the bull swivel on here, sometimes they can get it tangled up around here like this to where the swivel doesn't function properly and they can still do it. We still find twisted lines sometimes without a catfish on it. But with this on, you're gonna catch the majority of your fish. So we're gonna go ahead and finish making this line and uh, we'll see what it looks like when we're finished. All right, we're gonna put this weight on in the middle here. 
we we just want to make for sure that this stays down good and don't get into anybody's motor when they're on the lake All right, so you got your line made. This nylon needs to be singed on each end to keep it from fraying. So just go ahead and just take a match or a lighter. I don't smoke, but I use this to light the lights in my house because I don't have electricity. All right, get yourself a piece of foam like this because you put the hooks in that and that'll keep you from getting hurt. So take the first of your line you're not going to have a, a hook on there for the first 10 foot anyway make yourself make yourself a knot that you can easily undo when you get on the lake the way i do that is to just take a loop and just pull the loop like that and then it'll tighten down like this but when you get to the lake and you're ready to take this part, all you gotta do is pull that and it'll come right apart. I use that same knot tying my trot line to the tree. So anytime I'm ready to go, all it takes is just a small little tug and it's loose and I'm gone. So do that and then just start winding. Just start winding it up. Keep your line in the middle and that'll leave place on both sides for your hooks. You don't want to have a real mess when you get done. Now, here's, here's where my first hook is, the swivel, and the hook is here. Just keep wrapping. Then when you get, when you come around and your hook's as far as it'll go, just hook it right in. Keep going. You'll come to the next one, do the same thing. Just hook it right in. What's gonna happen is when you're taking this up, when you're when you're putting your uh, line out at the lake, you'll know which hook to take out where because it's it goes with this. So just keep it going. And you do the same thing all the way down. Okay, when you get to the end, you're gonna have a piece. Now, I haven't, uh, I haven't sensed it yet, so I'm gonna sense it right quick. Now, what to do with this end? So, you've got all these strands of string here. Just grab you three or four or five and just pull it through there like that. And then, all you gotta do, go around it twice. and then just pull that through and pull it tight and when you get to the when you get to the lake you'll just boop, pull it and it'll be ready to go so now i've showed you how to make a trot line you might have some questions in your mind whether it works or not whether you can actually catch fish on it whether it's legal i don't know whether this is legal in the state that you live in here in tennessee it's legal but you'll just have to look on your state's fishing guide regulations and see if it's legal or not. If it is legal, I highly recommend it if you're wanting to fill your freezer with catfish. It's not legal to catch sport fish on these and keep them. You have to turn them loose. So you're, you're legal to keep catfish, drum, carp, any type of fish like that, gar. But we are, we're specifically targeting catfish with these when we use them. So stay tuned. On tomorrow's video, we're gonna show you, I hope some success. We'll see, we're gonna, we're gonna be setting
trot lines and we're gonna be baiting them with bluegill, with shad that we caught at the river and with other bait fish that we've caught. So stay tuned and we're gonna see if we catch some fish. I think that we're gonna catch them. Just hit past history tells me we're gonna catch some fish and we might catch so many that you start feeling sorry for them. I don't know, but we, our plan is to fill the freezer with catfish to last us for a year. Our fish that we caught last year, which was a lot and big, are gone. We ate them all. So it's time to catch some more. See y'all, y'all have a good day. Enjoy this, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed, you did enjoy this video, right? Go make yourself a trot line that don't cost much money at all. And you just never know what kind of a big monster you're gonna bring home. Have a good day, see you.